Hi, Sharon. I thought I would make this personalized little vid video for you to kind of take you through how to view attendance, how to log into the student portal and the learning management system, and just kind of take you through a quick little tutorial. Um, this is will substitute me setting up a Zoom call with you and having us meet and take a bunch of time out of your day to try and figure out when our schedules will align. But yeah, this is basically it. So let me take you through. Um, so simple, so easy. The first thing we want to do is go to horizoneducation.com. And obviously, I've been there a couple of times. It just comes up. It's like the first thing for me. And you can do this in your spare time. You could pause the video if you wanted to um, and kind of do it in your own time. But um, I'm going to take you through it. On the, on the upper right-hand corner, we have the sign-in button. I'm going to click that. And in the email, I've actually shared with you your email the email that you're going to use to sign in. I have it right there. I just kind of copy and pasted it and your password. Let's see if I can remember it. See if this takes me in. And there we are. Okay. So we are in um, the student portal here, but for the admin account for CyberArt Studio Academy. And you can see here that at the top, we have 20 students enrolled. And the first thing I want to do is just take you through really the only Thing that I don't want you to do in the student portal. And the only thing I don't want you to do in the student portal is go into assessments and touch anything that is read in here that says like relock. Um, what we did is we released, as you can see, we released the first practice assessment for students to complete during their own time. And right, class was yesterday, so I don't think students have probably you know, been so gung-ho as to go ahead and, and take the practice assessment already. We'll see that in a second if they did or didn't, but we want to stay a walk away from this relock um, button. So let's just go back to the dashboard and where you want to key in on for the most part is attendance. Okay. And attendance is going to show you everything you need to know. So we click attendance here at the top. We come down to view attendance and that's going to show us everything here. We have 20 students enrolled. And these are our classes, class one, class two, class three, and class four. Right now, the only thing we care about is class one. So our A's here stand for absent, and you can see that we have a lot of red A's. We have a lot of students that were absent for our first class. So you might want to shoot out a little blast email for your students, kind of reminding them, hey, we've got class on Saturday. We send out those reminders as well to the students, but they might be a little more meaningful. Uh, coming from the administrators, but Anaya here, props to her for kind of showing up. Um, Dianara, um, she showed up. Who else made it? I think those were our two ladies that made it to class. Everyone else uh, didn't attend for whatever reason. And on the left here, as students start to take their practice assessment, the first one, you'll see these numbers fill in. So hopefully our stu two students that were present, you know, when they complete their assessment, their number will show up there and you'll see the score that they got for their first assessment. And that's pretty much it for you. The one other thing I want to show you is if you want to keep some of the attendance records for yourself, you have the opportunity to click export report and um, it, ex you know, it exports it and you can have that report for yourself. You can open it, save it, but it'll come as a spreadsheet and you might want to just kind of save this for your own records. It'll say class one, this is our attendance, and this is our practice test one so far. Students haven't haven't taken it yet, but I don't. I'm not mad at them for that. They have an entire week um, to finish up before next week, and that is pretty much a short, concise breakdown, custom for you, um, on how to access your attendance and look at student scores for uh, for the practice assessments. If you have any more questions whatsoever. Um, please shoot me an email. Um, I am here always to to help you however I can and, and more importantly to to help your students. So um, that's pretty much it. Have a good have a good day.